Ah, YouTube, as y'all see, man, I got my wicked beer right here. We are putting that on today in this video, but first, we finna go do my oil change. Yeah, man, so like I said, finna go do my oil change today. You know what I'm saying? But I'm finna get out of this cold start right fast. See, we got the scat up on the lift. I don't know now. My baby, I almost, she almost came out the lift for real. But it'd be all right, man. We finna do the oil tank. Look, y'all. That's why y'all gotta make sure y'all get y'all the oil catch can to catch all this. That's not supposed to be in there, bro. If you don't got an oil catch can, all that'll go into your intake manifold. How to do an oil change on the Scat Pack 101, part 500, because I didn't did this a lot of times. But you gonna take this oil pan off. Or not oil pan, but the plastic cover. Y'all know what I meant. Uh, see, man, when you take the four screws out, this just slide right out like that. And then boom. All right, man, this is a simple part. I'm gonna put that right there. Hold on, y'all. Oh my gosh. I did not know I put that on there tight, bro. Okay. All right, now we gotta raise this back up. And then you know what I'm saying? You just gonna take this screw out. Once you get the screw out, drop it. I ain't get no oil on my, oh yes I did right there. But y'all see, man. Oil doing what they need to do. I'm gonna let my car finish draining, but look at this wide body, y'all. Dang, I ain't even got an engine in this one. It's clean, though. He got the red guts in there, too, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see through the tent. I don't want to put my phone all in his car, but clean. White wide body. And it's an aftermarket wide body, man. It still look good, though. I wonder what he finna do. Hellcat swap? Hellcat swap, man. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know what he about to put in here, but. Yeah, I see we got the filter draining too. We're gonna take the filter off, put the new filter on, and then put the new oil in, man. As y'all know, uh, Scats 392s is 0W40. So I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all see all of that, like, that right there, all that. So I gotta see all that metal that's like shade right there. That's because my tire be rubbing it when I'm dripping. And so that's how my active suspension wire got cut. And my guy Leo just looked at it. He said, probably I'm gonna have to get a new, a whole new like little active suspension thingy to replace that wire or whatever. But I might just leave it, man. It'll be all right, but just know that, man. If y'all drifting these wild bodies, the weight transfer is gonna make it do that. You know what I'm saying? So, just know that. But hey, everything is good, man. We got the oil drained out. We're gonna put the car on the ground and put the oil in there. And now you just pour the oil in there, man. Super simple. These cars take seven quarts, though. This is five quarts in this big one. That's it, man. Once you get the oil in there, close that thing up. You know what I'm saying? Straight. Now you got to reset the oil life. As y'all see, I was at 30. Back at 100, man. All right. 
All right, YouTube, man, I'm finna get out a little POV. I don't know why, I feel like the car just drives so much better when you do the oil change. And y'all see I put some gas in it, man. We on full? Oh yeah, my baby ready to go now. Guys, everything in this video is fake. It is not real, it is all edited. I'm gonna give y'all a 60 to 100 roll. How about that? Hold on. Oh! Them shifts is so crispy though. Like, bro, I know y'all here the way. Man, stop playing. Stop playing. I just want y'all to hear the shifts. Just hear the shift one more time, just hear it. I love the transmissions in these cars, bro. Oh my God. Yo, what? Y'all hear it, man. Big drift scat. Like I said, man, everything in this video is fake. It's not real. It's not real. Ah, uh, YouTube, so. I'm trying to put the wicker bill on right now. But as y'all see, my wicker bill came with these little things right here that's supposed to sit off the back of the car. But they didn't even cut them right to fit the trunk, bro. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna take them off. I'm not gonna throw the whole wicker bill away just cause this little piece don't fit. All right, YouTube, so we took them pieces off. I got the first hole started right here. I'm gonna come back and finish the rest of this tomorrow. But this was the hardest part, was just getting measuring and getting that in the right spot. And then once you get the middle, all the rest of them are lined up. So, <laughs> yeah, man, we're gonna finish this install tomorrow. Um, and today we're gonna finish putting this wicker bill on. Who asked me to do a burnout for his gender reveal? So today gonna be the test run. So I'm gonna make sure I vlog all that. As y'all see, we got the middle hole right there already drilled. I wanna get y'all the before and after. So this the before before the wicker bill stock spoiler i'm gonna put this wicker bill on but this wicker bill not big as the last one i had on my scat so we're gonna see what it look like but i do like this one because it's all black it's real simple it ain't it ain't like too much you know what i'm saying so we're gonna finish putting this on man and uh yeah let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it Bruh, I keep on getting the wrong one. All right, YouTube, at this point, I'm finna get mad, bro. The thing is, you can always drill the hole too small, but if you drill it too big, then it's GG's. So, we just trying to get it right, man. This gotta be the one right here, y'all. Gotta be the one, let's go. All right, so as y'all see, we got the first rivet in there. You know what I'm saying? Now that I look at it, it look a little bit cricket, huh? Or do they look straight lined up with the camera? What y'all think? I don't know, man, but we got the first one in there. So now, I'm gonna put this on the car, and then that's how you're gonna get the rest of your holes to line up perfectly. You gotta do the middle one first, though. So let's do it. We're gonna make some shape, though. This wood could be a so small compared to my last one, bro. You gotta go, mark all the holes. I'm using the Sharpie, but I got good eyes. So I'm using the Sharpie, mark all the holes, take that screw out, drill all the holes, put the rivets in, and put the wiggle bell on. It's really simple, man. Um, a lot of people make this way more complicated than what it gotta be. Cause I done seen people do just, they just be doing way too much, bro. Just put the wiggle bell on. But that's why I do everything to my car myself. Cause I know I'm gonna do it right, you know what I'm saying?
we got all our holes marked with the Sharpie. This is a very important part because if you drill the hole off by like barely a centimeter, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to put the wiggle bell on. Won't know till we get done. We finna, uh, we finna do this. Oh, snap. But we almost went through the spoiler, boy. All right, man. So as y'all see, I'm drilling the holes. I'm finna finish drilling the holes. I'm gonna put the rivets in with the tool. And then we're gonna screw the wicker bill on. I'm gonna cut the camera back on once we finna put the actual wicker bill on the car. We got the wicker bill on, and we just gotta tighten up all the screws. But I told y'all, man, it's not that hard, man. Once you put that middle hole in, there, it's almost impossible for you to mess up the the rest of these. That's why you do the middle first. So this the after man. I really didn't think, I thought this one was smaller than my last one. It's, it's actually probably bigger. Like these little triangle looking things, they come up higher than what I thought. The only difference between this one and my last one is, is my last one had a clear piece that was right here that would go up like right here. But this one is only just the black part, which I like that better. So, you know see, we got the wiggle bill on. Let me see from the side. You know what I'm saying? I think it look good, man. So now we got our diffuser, wicker bill, and our front splitter on, man. And that's pretty much all the little outside accessories I'm doing, man. This ain't no race car, so I don't need a whole aerodynamic kit. But I do like the way the wicker bill diffuser and front splitter look. So um, I'm done with the wicker bill install. I'm waiting on my boy Tay to hit me up for this little practice run at a gender reveal. I'm gonna pull up to this crib here real quick and do this little practice burnout or whatever for his gender reveal. I'm just gonna get that on camera for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, what, what kind of car is this, bro? It's a Ford Taurus. And it got a V8 in it? Yeah. Man, show me something. I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't never seen a V8 in one of these before. Like, what, what size V8 is that? It's 32 valve. That's the highest V8 they made for these. So, is, is it loud? This one's quiet. Uh. Sounds easy. A V8 and this is crazy though. Ain't it all wheel drive too? No, it's front wheel. Front wheel drive. Front wheel drive. And everything. Okay. I just gotta put the tires back on it. I wanna hear it though, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You say you got a V8, I gotta hear it, bro. Do it crank, do it still work? I got it, don't, I'm guessing jumping in. I wanna see it. You think it's better with it? I ain't got no gas in it. Are you fucking ignorant, Tasha? Get in the fucking house if that's all you gotta fucking say. It won't to though. Yeah. Low key. But it was burning. Or is that probably just the Yeah, it was it was smoking a little bit. I don't know what that means. It stopped though. Probably is yeah, keep smoking everything until it started up. It's a dead, dead, probably. Alright, you too, man. So we was just trying to test out to see how the smoke gonna look and how we need to do the bags. But when we actually had a gender reveal, well not we, but when they actually had a gender reveal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the gender reveal is coming up this Saturday, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Cause I am gonna vlog that day. Just cause we're gonna be out there kicking it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, it's coming up to the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, keep God first and chase y'all dreams, man. SRTJD out. If
this nigga ballin', I get every penny. Yeah. Twenty pointers in my mouth, they shout out to my dentist. Yeah.